Ever wondered how the clothes you wear come into existence? What journey does a fiber undertake to become a fabric? Today, we're exploring the intriguing topic of fiber to fabric. At the most basic level, fibers are the building blocks of our clothing, which come in two main types, natural and synthetic. Jeevan anmol hai, khushiyan baate, achha rol hai. Natural fibers include materials like cotton, jute, wool, and silk. In the next few minutes, take a deep dive into the fascinating world of fibers and their transformation into fabrics. Natural fibers have a fascinating journey from being a part of a plant or an animal to becoming a part of your clothing. Let's start with cotton, a fluffy masterpiece of nature. The journey begins with ginning, a process of separating the cotton fibers from the seeds. Then comes spinning, a magical transformation that turns these fibers into threads or yarns. These yarns are then woven or knitted into the soft, breathable fabric that we all love. Now let's talk about wool. This warm and comfy material starts its journey on the back of a sheep. Shearing is the first step, where the woolly fleece is cut off. Then comes grading, a meticulous process of sorting the wool based on quality. The wool is then carded, which means it's combed to align the fibers and then spun into yarn. Just like cotton, this yarn is woven or knitted to create woolen fabrics. The story of jute and silk is no less fascinating. Jute, a long, soft and shiny plant fiber, is spun into coarse threads while silk, the queen of natural fibers, is harvested from the cocoon of the silk moth, spun into fine threads, and then woven into the luxurious fabric we all covet. So that's how natural fibers take the journey from plants and animals to your wardrobe, but what about synthetic fibers? Contrary to natural fibers, synthetic fibers have a completely different origin and process. Now let's take a dive into the world of synthetic fibers, a world that's all about science, innovation, and versatility. When we talk about synthetic fibers, we're referring to man-made fibers created through chemical processes. They don't grow in fields or on animals, they're born in labs. These fibers are primarily made from fossil fuels like petroleum, and they're developed through a fascinating process of chemical reactions. Take polyester for example, a common synthetic fiber you might find in your clothing. Polyester is created through a process called polymerization, where small molecules called monomers are chemically bonded together to form a large chain-like molecule, a polymer. It's a complex process, but the end result is a durable, versatile fiber that can be used in a wide variety of products, from clothing to carpets. Another popular synthetic fiber is nylon. Like polyester, nylon is also a product of polymerization. This fiber is renowned for its strength and elasticity, making it a popular choice in the manufacturing of items like parachutes, ropes, and even car tires. These are just a few examples of the myriad of synthetic fibers that exist. Each one has its own unique characteristics and uses, offering endless possibilities for innovation. The journey these fibers take from lab to product is a testament to human ingenuity and the power of science. That's how synthetic fibers born in labs make their way to your wardrobe. So. Whether it's a cotton t-shirt or a nylon jacket, it all starts with a fiber. We've journeyed through the fascinating process where natural fibers like cotton and wool and synthetic ones like Surprise! nylon transform into the fabrics we wear every day. We've delved into shearing, grading, carding, spinning, weaving, and knitting, all crucial steps in this intriguing story. Remember, every time you wear a piece of clothing, there's a story of a journey from fiber to fabric behind it. For more fascinating insights into everyday things, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and leave a comment. If you need further help, feel free to contact Anil Sir at the Students Care Center on 999906096. Until next time, stay curious.